After decades spent on golf courses, Charlie Reimer knows how to spot a hazard. But a life and death hazard off the fairway in 2022 took the former pro golfer turned broadcaster by surprise. You get the news, stage three colon cancer. And I'll tell you what, that's pretty hard to handle, you know, that news coming from a doc. You know, because in particular, as men, I mean, we all think we're invincible. invincible. Sure. We're going to live forever. Yeah. Reimer had no symptoms. His doctors found some polyps during a routine colonoscopy. He had a series of surgeries followed by four cycles of chemo. Last summer, he had his last treatment and got to ring the bell at MD Anderson in Houston. How'd that feel? It was really cool to know the treatment was over. Then you have to go into surveillance. Recent colorectal cancer survivors like Reimer need to stay vigilant. As many as 40% of patients will see cancer return. 95% of the time within the first four to five years after surgery. That's why Reimer has started taking what's called a liquid biopsy test every three months. Here's how it works. When a patient has a tumor removed, a sample is sent to a lab. Its specific mutation markers are mapped out or sequenced. Doctors then use a simple blood test to search for those markers left by microscopic residual cancer cells. Dr. Scott Kopetz is a leading cancer researcher at MD Anderson in Houston. He was the doctor to my late brother Lawrence, and now he's Reimer's doctor. What makes this new technology so, so useful? So for the first time, we are now able to identify those patients who still have disease despite our best surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. And now we can start to bring treatments to them sooner than we would have otherwise. How early could it detect a, a, a recurrence? The data suggests that on average, we can detect it six to nine months before we see it on a CT scan. Six to nine months? Mm -hmm. Before it ever shows up on a CT scan? Correct. Accuracy is the key. A recent study by Signatera, the brand of liquid biopsy tests used by Dr. Kopetz, found that 97% of colorectal cancer patients who tested positive will have a recurrence of cancer. Equally important, 97% of patients who tested negative for two or more years after surgery did not see the cancer return. The maker of Signatera collaborated on the study. For Weimer, it's peace of mind that is priceless. He spent time taking his entire family to Hawaii on what he called the No Mo Chemo Tour. He's also developing an app-based program that links cancer patients with support so they don't have to go through treatments alone. He's calling it chemo caddy. No, because a caddy does more than just carry your clubs. Yeah. It's, it's emotional support. And so for cancer patients, you can help that cancer patient if you want to volunteer to get them back and forth from the hospital. Yes. If you want to get their house cleaned, if you want to go grocery shopping for them. That's a great you know, idea. Just a, a one place where you can help folks that are going through cancer. Now, Reimer takes nothing for granted. He spends time with Carol, his wife of more than 30 years, and he's happy to be back on the golf course, winning at the game of life. I mean, I've had a, an amazing life. When, you know, when the big man says, you've had enough, come deal with me for a while, I'm good with that. But I, you know, I just, I got kids, I got a granddaughter, and I want to be here as long as I can for them. Mm. So Great. earlier this month, Charlie was told he has been cancer-free for a year. Yes. Yes. Nice. Clear at right. that time when Dr. Kopet says that the recurrence is, is most likely. But the medical community is very excited yeah. about this liquid biopsy test and what it could, what it could mean uh, for a lot of cancer patients who've had chemo or who've had the surgery. I mean, think about it. I mean, this is detecting cancer. Yeah. Before Six to nine months shows up before it ever before. shows yeah. up. Which it's gives them the ability amazing. to do to some sort of targeted it. treatment wow. on yeah. what they find. Is, are they want... rolling this out on a widespread basis? Or? No, uh, not yet. Um, but it, because there are only certain folks who are eligible to receive a treatment, and, and it's also not covered. Uh, by all insurance programs just yet. Mm -hmm. And I, saw, I should also mention, I am a volunteer, voluntary member of the uh, board for the Colorectal Cancer Alliance, which receives some funding from Natera, the liquid biopsy test covered by Medicare for stages two through four, to answer your question, mm -hmm. Al. Some private insurers are starting to cover the test as oh, well. Good. But the hope is that more private insurance companies... Well, especially Absolutely. if it can get in there, early detection... Yes early intervention yes. ultimately for makes me, a lot of sense. The takeaway for all of us, men and women, the fact that he had no symptoms and he went in for a regular checkup. Yes. Yep. Right. And that's, that's why you got to go. How many of us have not scheduled a checkup? Yeah, I know. Exactly. We got to do it. 45. Right. If you are 45 and you don't have a family history, it's younger now. you need to get a yeah. colonoscopy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. That was good. Thank, Thank you, you, Craig.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.